Farmers are disappointed that Congress couldn't pass a new farm bill in 2012 and instead extended the 2008 farm bill, which technically expired in September. LSU Ag Center economist Mike Selassie says this puts farmers in a difficult position as they make planting decisions for the new year. We have enough risk in, in crop production in agriculture and agriculture and having so much uncertainty about the farm program just adds to that. The extension was passed with the American Taxpayer Relief Act of 2012, legislation aimed at avoiding the fiscal cliff. The legislation extends current commodity programs including direct payments, which benefit many of Louisiana's row crop farmers. Last fall up through December when the House and the Senate were putting together new farm bill proposals, none of those included a direct payment program. Everybody wanted to get rid of them. Left out of the extension were some conservation programs and disaster relief programs. Selassie says Congress can pass a law to offer disaster payments if a hurricane or drought were to occur. Right now there's no, there's no federal program or money in the budget to cover that. The extension will expire at the end of September. Selassie says there will be plenty of pressure on Congress to pass a new farm bill in 2013. There are so many groups in the country um, for agriculture and against agriculture, even a lot of uh, commodity, national commodity groups are so disappointed and in a lot of cases outraged that they couldn't come up with a new program. Uh, they're going to have to come up with a new one this time. The farm bill serves as the nation's main food and nutrition policy. A new bill is set for renewal every five years. If Congress had not extended the 2008 Farm Bill, farm policy would have reverted to a 1949 law, the last permanent farm bill. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting.